have just arrived at the new workshop. It's starting to look um, a little bit more lived in. Like we've got, if I stand over here, in fact, let's go up the stairs. If I go up here, it's starting to look a little bit more um, like there's stuff going on. Deburring machine, water jet cutter, um, bunch of titanium, milling machine, still yet to be wired in. The electrician is going to be here, what day is this, Thursday, tomorrow. So there's a good chance the milling machine is on the go tomorrow. I have to buy cutting fluid for today, not cutting fluid, cutting fluid, coolant. I have to buy coolant, I think, for today. Basically when you machine titanium, it's not like aluminium, it, it doesn't, dis, it doesn't, what's the word, distribute heat very well or whatever you call it. It needs a lot of cutting coolant fluid so it doesn't destroy the, the tool that's, uh, that's doing the cutting of the titanium. So can't really run that on titanium, but I'm going to practice with aluminium first anyway while I get the hang of it and, you know, break tools and smash stuff and break stuff because it's inevitable. It's, it's new. It's a, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Very quickly, this machine, this is a sanding machine. I just saw on, the, on a YouTube comment, just as I was coming in, someone said, what was the name of the machine? Now, I'm not sure if you mean the name of like the brand, this is Time Savers, or you mean what it's called. I mean, it's called a sander. It's also called a deburring machine, and it's also called a finishing machine. I'm, I'm not sure. Basically, you put bits of metal in, and it's like a giant belt sander. Um, I think that's what you're asking. The other thing that's arrived here, since like it's we're starting to move in here like if you remember if you've been following for a while which statistically um is unlikely because i had only a thousand subscribers on my youtube channel for the first nine months but uh we uh, we moved in here around about what nine those nine months ago i moved in just before i started doing my youtube videos this place is empty it's now nearly a year since then and we're finally moving in i i rented it way way too prematurely but you know you make mistakes you move on that's how it works uh can't remember what i was saying now it's yeah it's good to uh it's good to sort of finally make progress in here what's arrived here since i was last here are these i shall show you what these are these are so i bought six of these Truthfully, they weren't very cheap. I can't remember what they were. They were on special though. They were like on special for $300 each. Damn, they're heavy. These are Philips LED lights. I think I mentioned the other day that I needed to buy LED lights for this place because we've got these lights here. I don't know if you can see them. Let's have a look. Yeah, so those lights there, they're not that bright and they, they go at 100 hertz. So what you see when you, when I record with a video like this, there's a flicker and basically I have to leave the lights off. So I never have the lights on when I'm filming in here. Luckily there's enough light coming in through the skylight today because it's a sunny day that I can film just like this. But you know, it's going to be getting winter soon. It's going to be getting darker. So I had to spend a couple of grand on lights so we can sort of get that. Now, fingers crossed that they're not gonna flicker. I never checked this, but I'm pretty sure that's how LEDs work. We'll see how it goes. And the other fingers crossed, because um, I don't know if there's gonna be enough lights or if it's gonna be shadowy or if it's gonna be a harsh light. I think it should be okay. We'll see how it goes. I thought I would do a very quick spinner design on the computer here. Quick design of it and then if I've got time, cut it on the water jet cutter out of, it'll likely be 10 millimeter thick titanium, which will be this stuff here, as you can see. Cut a ton of spinners out of it so far.
and that is the design pretty much done. Um, definitely looking like the Batman symbol. Wasn't the intention at all. Um, it'll look pretty different once the core is in. Gonna put a bit in my pocket here. Got this spinner that I did the other day. And so I'm gonna put this core in. So once this copper core or whatever core I put in is in there, I think it'll look less like a Batman symbol. But I don't know kind of why I wanted that shape. I think I'm just kind of curious to see how, how it balances and, and that kind of thing. So yeah, I'll be interested to see, see how this one turns out. Right, time for some lunch, I think. Right, back from lunch now, going to get my father to cut the spinner design from earlier. I think I'll do it out of 12 mil or 13 mil, whatever it is I've got, just for a change, you know, like to make like the ultimate chunky spinner. Back down to the workshop now from being up at my machinist's place. Um, just chatting to him for a while, sorting out some stuff. Cut the spinner. So this is the spinner blank here. Unfortunately, um, if I show you this one here, this is the spinner I made the other day. So we made this hole here. We made that the exact same size as this here, you know, like the from up here to down here. but. It's, as you can see, it's not completely surrounded. So even though we made it the same diameter, it's uh, it's just too big. It must be the way the metal flexes or something like that. So we're gonna have to like cut it again. Um, we actually did a miscut. This is the second one, too big. So we're actually doing a third cut. Um, it's not cheap, this um, titanium business. Um, so we're gonna add, I think, we're gonna remove half a millimeter from the, from the center of this and that should make it nice and tight for the core to go in. What we've also been doing today is getting some wiring done. Not, not only wiring, as you can see along here, but also an airline. So we've got this airline here. We're gonna have the sink, the sink that's in the current workshop, so the old workshop. We're gonna put that sink Pretty much there, I think. Um, the tumblers, the centrifugal tumbler, and the uh, Rosler vibratory tumbler. This machine here, they're gonna go somewhere here as well. We have the air supply connected up to this machine, no el el to the milling machine, no electricity yet, but you know, we've got air. Oh. It's meant to make a different noise. It's the way you put the tool in or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. <music> Nearly six o'clock, the sun is still shining. Um, a bit bright though. Pretty much done at the workshop today. Um, not fully done for the day, I don't think. Right, so, just back from Tauranga, the new workshop right now. I put the core into the spinner before the spinner's been ground or anything. And I have it here. And I'm gonna be really mean to you and make you wait until tomorrow to see it. Because, believe it or not, it's, it's come out really, really good. Like, it's big, it's heavy, it's really thick. I mean, look at that. That is, I believe, 13.7 millimeters thick. It is a chunky, chunky spinner. It's also very long, but 
um, I can all I can tell already it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a beast so I think tomorrow maybe the day after probably tomorrow I will like grind it make it nice and nice and nice feeling make make it feel nice sort of tactile in the hand and you know because it's kind of sharp just now from the water jet cutting put the core in and have a fully functioning spinner and like i said it looks kind of cool so i'm kind of excited to do that um because you can't really spin it properly just now so even though i've even though i've got it here and you know the core is in it you you can't really spin you can't spin it properly because the edges are so sharp actually i have just realized i definitely can't do this spinner tomorrow it's gonna have to be the day after because tomorrow is an extremely full-on day over to the new workshop again the electrician's coming in so i've got to sort of talk with him we're getting wires run we're putting lights up uh what other stuff is going on the milling machine will hopefully be working so we'll get that sort of set up probably won't mill anything it's too probably won't have time but yeah so full on day tomorrow i will take you along with me for that we'll see how much um you can sort of you can get from that but uh i will leave you with a quote it is by josh billings and he said one of the rarest things that a man ever does is to do the best he can